Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to touch base uh, on something to try to get ahead of it. Um, last week, I built a replica and it was a sweet one. It was um, one of the olive drive colored ones. And here's how that one turned out. Just a picture of it. I really like the way that that solid color turned out. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, it just went together beautifully and uh, sent it out to the customer. Customer got it. He's like, hey, I can't get the magazine in. I'm like, you what, huh? Because it was just one of those builds that just went together flawlessly without a hitch. And um, I did have to go inside the magazine a few times to tune it. It's really nice when you have those builds and you don't even have to go back in the magazine to tune it. Sometimes you just hit them just right and everything is great. Anyway, uh, I was like, well, what's going on? He's like, I don't know. It just won't go in all the way. And I'd already explained to him that um, it's going to feel different than uh, it did before. Uh, he already had a Blackbird, and so I know it feels different uh, from a stock Blackbird when you get it back from me. And that has to do with the uh, tape, the Gorilla Tape, the two pieces that go in here, uh, and the Magnus Op Seal. You've got the Magnus Op Seal pushing on the face of the valve body, and you've also got that tape pushing on this side of the valve body so everything is tighter and uh, the guy ended up sending the whole thing back to me and I got to looking at it and I, I took it out put the magazine in it went in fine no issues for me I'm like sitting there thinking well what could it be and so I got to messing around with the magazine in the magazine well and I got it to a point where if I angled it a certain way, it would not go in. And I'm doing another build right now, and I figured I would show you guys what's going on because I just got done explaining it to this guy. Um, and I've had somebody else one time, I believe it was, say that they had issues with the magazine going in and he just decided to you know drop this raise this latch plate up which you know everything that I've done you paid me to do and you paid me to do it for a reason so everything is set up optimally when you get it back from me so rather than doing anything drastic and going and pulling the tape out and adjusting this and that I'll show you what's going on. If the magazine is angled back like that, try to do this with one hand, what happens is the valve body hits on the hook on the barrel nut and our groove, let me get something to point with, the groove is right in there. So the valve body is back too far to engage with the hook on the barrel nut. So my guess is the guy was just used to putting it in a certain way. And um, he just didn't bother to angle it a little bit like so and have it go home. Anyway... Uh, I just wanted to bring this up uh, in hopes that in the future uh, you don't run into this and have to send it back to me. And there you go. Later. One more thing before I let you go is this is a Magnus Op seal. And it sits in the valve body, I mean barrel nut, as if my hand were the uh, barrel nut. And it sticks out a little bit. The barrel 
pushes it out a little bit. Um, so when the valve body comes up against it, it pushes everything and squishes it flat in there. And that's what gives you a 100% seal as opposed to uh, the factory uh, barrel seals and some other aftermarket barrel seals. Anyway, it squeezes that flat. Now, as it goes up, and as that hook engages on that groove, it brings that valve body closer and closer. What can happen is if you don't have like uh, some silicone oil or silicone grease on the face of your valve body, the part that slides up against that is that it can roll the seal out also. I was thinking that that guy might have actually rolled the seal out like that, but that's not what happened. It was just the way he was trying to get it in. All right. Later.